So it's Thursday, the 20th of July, and we are departing uh, Milford Haven, it's called. Some beautiful scenery behind us. We got, got to keep an eye on a barge that is converging on our course, but I uh, just wanted to get a quick departure. And uh, so we're going to go out into the Irish Sea again and head north and hopefully get to Holly Head uh, before uh, the weather deteriorates on the weekend. So we'll see what happens. Some beautiful scenery. We didn't really get ashore to see it. But we're on a mission to get north. So this tour of Wales is going to have to wait for a few days. Leaving our anchorage. Definitely avoided him. I imagine he's throwing off a nice wake, so we have to look for that. So it's July 20th, about uh, 6 30 p.m. We are on our way to uh, what's it called? Holyhead. Holyhead in uh, northern Wales. And uh, we don't have much wind right now. So we're motoring again. The wind has been kind of up and down today. And right now it's down. Maybe it's five or six knots, but not enough really to sail with any speed at. So we're, we're trying to get there by tomorrow afternoon. So uh, if the speed drops below two, then we're motoring. Pretty flat. But I'm not complaining because the Irish Sea can be anything but flat, so if I have to choose between nastiness and flatness, I will take flatness. Thank you, gods of the Irish Sea. actually. Uh, and we can see Hollyhead Island, so we're probably about 10 miles away. We have, uh, the, well, the last uh, five or so hours we've had a lot of current against us, so we've been making fairly slow progress. I think there was like a three-night current at one point. Uh, we went closer to shore to try to avoid it. We did it did help some, uh, and uh, but the current is going to reverse in an hour or two, so uh, uh, so then we should be making a lot of progress once we're doing seven or eight or nine knots or whatever we might be doing. So uh, it's been a kind of a long night. Everybody's uh, tired, just from bouncing around and. healing over all the time. It's hard to try and make a cup of coffee right now. It's a little difficult just to make a cup of coffee. But uh, we're getting there. Let me show you what the seas look like here. Really, they're not too bad considering. Uh, no, no big swells really. Maybe one or two for the but they're very confused. It's, it's very characteristic of when there's a lot of current. And it should be in the harbor, in Hollywood Harbor, uh, hopefully by noon. It's going to go uh, We'll see how, what happens. And let's see. I don't know if you can see it through our salt stained windows. But that is Hollyhead Island right there. 
kind of a strange island. It's only connect. It's almost connected to the land. It just has a small like river between the island and the land. So it is an island technically, but not really. So that's our goal. It's not that far away, about 10 miles, and uh, we shall see. So it's. Uh, Thursday the 21st, I think, and here we are in Hollyhead in northern Wales, in the famous Hollyhead Basin with the second biggest breakwater in the world, second only to San Diego. It took 30 years to build it in the 1800s. 40 people died building it, but it makes a beautiful harbor towards downtown Hollyhead. Interesting street. And here we are in the center of town. Big traffic jam. Big traffic jam. Okay, that's pretty good. Very foggy outside the breakwater.